in the previous video we saw the segmentation of or marking of this region uh, the orbital bone here which is this region here of the skull so let me also show you the the skull so tag let me turn on tag zero so this is what we have isolated from the from the skull and we now want to isolate within that part the pores so we want to isolate the pores let's give it a different tag first let us remove these pieces that are connected to the bone so let's isolate these pieces so currently we are tag 0 let's press F to just fill that and remove those isolated pieces so hover over that the piece that you don't want and press F so it will basically just remove that connected piece okay, F okay it's almost there the transfer function <clears throat> and let us now tag this region here with a different tag value say so let's call it say 3 so this region here and this one here so hover over this and then press F so we want only tag number 5 to be filled with tag number 3 and that's only the connected voxels to this region here so if I just hide 5 this is what we have what we can also do is create a shell because this is all this is the part that we are interested in we are not interested in this part although we can tag that so let's do that anyway okay suppose we call it say tag number uh, say 8 and then just hover over that and then press fill again I am interested only in the region that is tag 5 so this is what we have here we can also go in and, and paint clean it up so 
so you can also tag it in this manner uh, let's just hide 5 and go to tag 3 and let's just add a touch up here okay so what we can also do is in order to remove the outer part let us just create a shell around this let's say call it say tag say 10 so again hover over this region here press shift F and then instead of shrink wrap use shell com sh shell option again minus one is fine here and shell thickness is say uh, two voxels or three voxels depending upon how thick you want I am not interested in filling the holes so it has now created a shell so if we cut it we can see this shell so I, I've created a shell in order to remove the outer region so if I turn off 10 then you can see what we have here and then if we show the interior structure it will be very clean now so this is how you can segment the interior the pore, pore structure now it we, we have tag 3 we can just dilate that tag 3 so I have selected that tag 3 and now hover over the region which is tag 3 and then press shift D so again I will show you what shift D does shift D will basically dilate the, uh, the connected visible region it's not just the tag 0 region but all visible region will be you can dial it into all visible regions so that's what we want to do so shift D tag 5 no, we are interested in tag 3 yes here it is and say one more time that's it say even one more time And same thing you can do with the purple one so this is how our segmented pores will look like and if you look at tag 0 so this is the part that we extracted and I'll just show you the bits so and this is what we have in the orbital bone and we can also get the volume of that let's turn off tag 0 and we'll also turn off tag uh, this is tag 8 and let us increase the transfer function to encompass everything and now let's get the volume that's the volume of this structure that we have segmented and of course once you change the transfer function your volume will also change slightly depending upon your transfer function now in the next video we will see how we can use this data which is a low resolution one and import that and apply it to the full resolution volume